So it's Friday, the 23rd of April. We're here at the Villa Ranch in El Dorado. P and, PT and uh, Grace already left. Still the view. It's around like 10, I think, right now. I want to show you guys this old. But yeah, the owner came by again today. Uh, he, uh, I guess, is the caretaker because he's restocking everything. Really cool guy. And yeah, uh, hot spots kind of healed up, uh, drained the blister. <laughs> Aside from that, man, it's just a cool setting. Probably town of 14 miles. A little snow came down this morning, so I checked the weather on my Garmin, and it seems like everything's gonna be okay for the hike. 14 miles, I think it's a road walk again. And uh, yeah, that's the day for now. Let's see what the trail looks like. Alright, so it's still Friday the 23rd. We've already set off to Pie Town. Uh, super cold. We're in the high desert. You should know that the PCT and the CDT both. It's very cold in the desert, so come prepared. We saw some snow come down this morning. We got caught in a little four or five inch snowstorm the other day. Looks like some stuff's going on in front of us. But yeah, man, we're all dressed for windy cold weather. So, yeah, 14, 13 miles to Pie uh, Town. What's up? Alright man, so I made it to the toaster house. Uh, wasn't aware they called it the toaster house because they put a bunch of toasters on the fence, but you know. This is uh, a shoe wall of all the quitters, just like the tree at Neil Gap. In the first 30 miles where everyone quit. And I'm pretty sure this is probably just like people switching out their shoes because it's been 407 miles already and the Gila messed up your stuff already. But yeah, this is a, another nice property, man. Just a lot of space. Chairs everywhere, fire pit, grills, fridges, I mean, very chill, very laid back, uh, no rules. Everyone that comes down this Continental Divide Trail is like usually an adult or an experienced hiker and they don't mess around in like uh, dumbass ways, so they don't have to make rules. Uh, highly, highly... I'm highly appreciative that this place is here right after uh, the Villa Ranch. It's just these small town vibes that all these places have, man. It's just like they have just enough to appease the, uh, the hiker community. But uh, yeah, everything closed in the town pretty early. It's There's only one restaurant open this year. And they closed around 5. We got around, we got here around like 5. Um, there's a section hiker, Grace, that took us to the 
local like convenience store get some things and yeah you know frozen pizzas and burritos will uh, go a long way uh no way there's a jersey plate right here get out of town i'll see that any day dude all right so yeah um i'm here I'm here for the night there's a bunch of us here uh bloodhound also joined us and a guy from scotland that's it nothing much to say i'm zeroing here gonna let my feet rest uh you can actually access the rv parks wi-fi from the property so that's what i'm doing and i actually have lte from t-mobile in town but yeah man um toaster house in uh, new mexico kitties everywhere look at all the cats Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, good day.